So we are going to uh, put the stove together now. Um, and we're going to film that. It's just laying there on the floor. We just took it out of the box, so nothing extra at this point. And we'll talk through this as far as setting this up. basically your standard sheep herder stove. I think they come, uh, you can get them anywhere. <clears throat> this tray didn't come with it. I thought I could use the standard size, um, but it's still not quite big enough. But the uh, remedy of that is if you really want that, you can do a couple of things. You could uh, get another pan and just double it up. Um, but for us, because the space is an issue, although pans don't make up that much room, I think we might look into like an asbestos pad to lay down. Uh, it's always nice to put some starter wood and stuff underneath the stove as well. So, but this is what it comes, uh, I think it's the biggest stove that Alaska Tent and Tarp sells uh, that comes with the Arctic oven. This is called the Del uh, Deluxe. So I'm guessing this is the main pipe. That's the spark arrestor and then the dampener. Oh, there's a damper on this one. Yeah. Nice. The other one we had didn't have a damper, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, the Arctic Oven 12 that we rented did not have a dampener. So that's you know, just your standard punch a hole, drill a hole through it, and put it in. We'll probably go a foot up from the stove. I don't know if there's a specification on that or not, but I think that's what I do on uh, the stove in the house. Now, the spark arrestor thing. This was good and bad. Um, you're going to see a dozen videos on YouTube that uh, have them on and, and another dozen that don't have them on. Obviously, this little screen here is going to help reduce the amount of uh, chunks that fly out of the chimney. Um, I was going to order an extra pipe or we were going to order an extra pipe to make sure that we were about three foot above the tent. Uh, we'll see what it ends up being here once we're done. But uh, you want the, the chimney to be about three, at least three feet above your tent, otherwise you're going to burn holes in your uh, out of canvas. Alaska tent top will fix it, but uh, you may not mind that. Uh, but do it right, you want to be uh, at least, I would say, at least two and a half to three feet above. So let's see what else we got here. Should do. More pipes. It's amazing how they can get everything into this thing, but this is how how you store it after it's together where all the pipes kind of interfit one another. This is the uh, water tank, uh, comes standard as the kit. I think you can get another one. You have a choice. There's a, a tray, which we kind of like that option. TJ will hang it up there. That goes on the side and you can hang your, uh, your water tank. There's a regular uh, hose spout inside. You just flip that up, uh, flip that out once you're uh, putting the set up. I'm not sure how big a tank this is, probably a gallon, a gallon and a half or so. Um, and that would just set right here as well. And that's the stove, so now we're just going to throw the pipe on. Probably the wise thing to do would do this with uh, gloves on, but we're not too smart. I told you about the tray. Um, I think it's good to have something there just to save the, uh, the floor. So it's pre-drilled with a band, look at that. Gotta be smarter than the piece you're working with. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Again, we'll put the damper in later. Let's get this in position. Oh, 
we'll get this close. Let's put everything together. And then we'll just set it up through the floor, up through the roof. Since we're on video, I won't say the stuff you normally would say. <laughs> Do you want to put the, uh, get these sparklers? It's nice to have the back door to be able to do this. We were struggling before. Uh, being able to do that, obviously having gloves, will make it a little easier. Yeah. Bam, that's it. That, that went a lot easier with that back door. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go see what it looks like outside. <clears throat> so yeah, definitely much better. That's that's at least three feet, but my guess. Take a peek here, and obviously you can put the screws in and hold it in if you get real heavy wind conditions. But that, to me, I feel a lot more comfortable seeing that. So that's the uh, stove, and uh, we'll have to decide what we're going to do for the tray. Whether we do uh, two trays or get the uh, asbestos pad. And we won't start this up, but obviously the first time you, you buy a stove, you want to do that outside the tent because it's going to have some oils and stuff in it. Uh, so unless you can vent it, I would recommend that you open up or, or, or uh, light it outside of the tent or have it opened up as you light it up. So there you go. There's plenty of room. Uh, just put a cot or a uh, floor pad on both sides by the stove so you can fit two people there easily. Uh, easily put another two sets, uh, two or two, another guy here and another guy here. Plus, and then you have all this storage room up here. My guess is uh, in the winter time, it rates that you can put seven people, seven to nine people. I think that's kids, wives, uh, small people. You get guys uh, hunting gear and all that. You're you're probably saying uh, five to seven, five comfortably, seven cozy. So there you go. That's the stove.